Assessment. Well, take a look at this. These are the winds at Crown Point in the Gorge. Hurricane force gusts today, and our news crews caught folks out there experiencing it firsthand in the Gorge with some gusts topping 100 miles an hour. These pictures just in, just back from Crown Point tonight. Look at that beautiful blue sky, but uh, it's just incredible up there what the winds are doing. I want to show you the peak gust right here on one of this wind gauge. It's a handheld wind gauge. Steve Pierce sending this in. This number right here is the steady wind at 97 miles an hour. And this uh, is thinner hand here on the gauge, 115 mile an hour gust. Isn't that incredible? And in the metro area, I mean, we had the east wind as well, 50 mile an hour gusts in Troutdale, over 40 in Gresham and Camas, 38 miles an hour. You get down to Wilsonville, the peak wind gust was something like eight miles an hour. So a big difference depending on where you are. And outside right now, you can see the silhouette of Mount St. Helens. It's 41 degrees and it's breezy in Portland, 18 miles an hour, but it's nothing compared to what's going on many places. Breezy conditions continue for a good chunk of the evening. If you've got winds now, you're going to hang on to them. And then if you don't have winds, expect fog and frost to begin forming later on as temperatures drop pretty quickly tonight and tomorrow morning, wind and sun or fog and frost. Take your pick. I mean, you don't really get to choose, but Mother Nature will choose for you out the door. And then we'll see some high clouds at times wandering through temperatures up around 50 for our highs. Now, lows this morning were below freezing. I don't see any change to that. High temperatures today, a lot cooler east of the mountains. And this is that cold, dense air that's looking for some place to go. And right now it is forcing its way through the gorge. We noticed that as east winds. So that's what was going on. And that set the stage for the valley fog in the column areas and sunshine everywhere else. And tomorrow will be a similar day, except we are going to haul in some high clouds at times from this system right here. And the system's not very strong to begin with. It's also running into that high pressure that's been dominating our weather for weeks now. And so by the time it gets here, there won't be a lot left. Let's talk about the wind, though. How much longer is this going to last? Uh, this is tonight at 5 o'clock. We've got the solid east winds across a decent chunk of the metro area. Notice the winds retreat by morning. Still a little breezy near the Columbia, and that should keep some of us in the sunshine tomorrow with a better chance of fog to the west and to the south where there's very little wind in the morning. And by tomorrow evening, I mean, east winds are gone in the metro area although they're still dying off for those of you in the gorge. What about rain from this next system? Well, 8 a.m. tomorrow, just the valley fog, which doesn't show up here, but high clouds will be rolling in at times during the day and tomorrow night. Then I think we go to cloudy skies overnight into Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning, and we could see some sprinkles out of the system and maybe some drizzle, but then guess what? We continue to have that offshore flow, and the east wind is going to be coming back, I think, as we get uh, closer to the weekend. So tomorrow, it's breezy east, otherwise passing clouds, fog and frost uh, in uh, the uh, metro area tomorrow. We'll see a breezy day at times at the coast in the valley, not so much in the way of wind and temperatures are cooler and the Columbia Basin stuck in the fog again tomorrow. Freezing in the valley throughout the metro area tomorrow morning, upper 20s, low 30s. And after a few sprinkles on Wednesday, I think you get the idea from the seven day forecast. We're going back to the same kind of weather we've been having right now. Our next chance for rain outside of those Wednesday morning sprinkles looks to be Monday. Call I just don't get it. Spring time in January. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know what happens usually? I, I remember one other year where we had a real dry stretch in the winter. I'll tell you what happened. It rained the entire spring. The other shoe dropped. Yes. So we're waiting for that yeah. one. Okay. We'll do spring skiing this year. <laughs> All right. Go. Thank you.